Welcome back to Ratna. In this week's episode, we welcome back to our program Ms. Sunita Bapuji. The last time she was on our show, she talked about Sukshma Yoga. And this week, she'll be talking about Carnatic music, how Carnatic music differs from North Indian classical music, and how it can be used as a form of prayer. Here's this week's interview. Sunita Bapuji, I'd like to welcome you to our Aradhana program. Thank you. And uh, thank you again for coming to studios, uh, taking time out of your busy life. Uh, Sunita, I know you are a very accomplished music teacher and a music singer. You are a singer of Carnatic music. Um, can I find out from you uh, how you got into this music uh, training? Since childhood, I love music. I used to sing. At the age of four, I sang for uh, Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister. And uh, while growing, I have taken a award from uh, second Chief Minister. And uh, 1977, I sang for uh, Neelam Sanjivaredi. Pra the President of India. With my guru, of course. So you have had a very naturally well-trained voice from the beginning? No, 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 not like that. I love music because of my father. Father's voice was so melodious. Mm -hmm. And maybe at the age of um, two, three, I used to get up and hear dad's voice. 4.30, used to sing Potana Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita with beautiful melodies. Maybe because of that. My father, I love music. You know, music has always been part of Hindu spirituality. Music uh, goes together with it. It has been part of a de element of devotion and all this. And you know, we have got thousands of ragas. But at one time you mentioned to me that there are some ragas which are called parent ragas. Can you tell us about what are some of these parent ragas and what qualifies them to be parent ragas? In Carnatic music, there are 72 parent ragas. You are very correct. Each parent raga has got a number of janya ragas, baby, baby ragas, daughter and son ragas. Give an example, like, for, for example. Parent raga? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me say about 15th parent raga. Because in Carnatic musicians, beginners, we have to start with this auspicious raga that is called Maya Malava Gaula. In North Indian mus musician, they will say Bhairav, I think so, Bhairav, yeah. That is Maya, Malava, Gaula. Their Janya Raga is Morning Raga, Saveri, so many Janya Ragas are there. For example, Bauli, that is Morning Raga and uh, Saveri is Janya. So, so you start with one major Raga and all these ones derived from it, mm -hmm. there must be some commonalities in them common elements. Everything common, parent but parent ragas are always sa, re, ga, ma, pa, da, ni, sa. That is seven notes. Mm -hmm. And janya ragas would be maybe audava, shadava, that means five in arohan, ascending, and six varas in mm -hmm. descending. Ascending and descending, arohan and avarohan. And some ragas may be audava, sampurna, that means five in arohana, and seven in so what is the difference between Karnatak music st style of music and North Indian style of music? I know both of them originated from the common source Vedas, our ancient scriptures. Yes, but where did they start to diverge? I could say that to both uh, twins for Vedas are ancient music. I love both systems. Mm -hmm. Though I learned, I trained for Carnatic music, I love North Indian music also. But uh, what is the uh, difference between these? Maybe style, way of singing. That's it. Can you take a raga and sing it North American style, North Indian style, and also Carnatic style? Will that be different? You want me to? Do? I would like you to demonstrate. Yeah. Okay. When uh, South Indian, we'll say that. Uh, mm -hmm. Sri Ramachandra Sritava Harijata That is Karnataka. That is Karnataka for sure. In Hindustani we say mm -hmm. ah, 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 ah. Janan Maran Kesat 
Shanti. Very nice. <laughs> I can I can tell the difference, and I know they are different. But you are saying that they came from the common origin. Maybe. That's it. Twin, twins. That's it. Little differences are there, but raga and thala system are same. But Pandit Ravi Shankar and uh, what I feel, and uh, even great musicians will say, Carnatic music is more systemized than North Indian music. Why is that? Because we are not changing whatever 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th centuries composers, whatever they have given to me, we, we are using the same things. Could it be that North was exposed to the foreign invaders and their cultures affected the music? That's it, Mughal and, and therefore it changed? That's it. And South India was much more tranquil? Mostly once upon a time there was only one system of music, old music, mm -hmm. traditional music, Throughout ancient India. music. But 14th century, until 14th century I think so, but 14th century because of Mughal dynasty, mm -hmm. the North Indian music became just. Well, it is. it changed, it had to change because of the infusion of uh, other But beautiful of system music. came, that is great. Well, let's say strength is in diversity, so maybe it was. Yeah. Now, could you also explain for the viewers who haven't been exposed to this, what is a raga? Melody. Raga is a melody. That's it. And Tala, what, what are the, what are are the components of a melody? There are principal, two principal elements in Indian classical music, Indian classical music. Hmm. That is raga and tala. Raga means melody, tala means rhythm. So melody and rhythm. Sunita, I, I know there are ragas which are associated with the time of the day, like morning raga or evening or even the ones very early, uh, late part of the evening. Uh, could you enlighten me about that? Morning raga, I love that raga. Wherever you go to hin Indian temples, Hindu temples, morning, suprabhat, mm -hmm. that is in this raga. You want me to hum? Well, I'd like to see that. I'd like to hear from you early morning raga. And what is the name of it? Bhauli. Bhauli. Mm Not much up and down. It's pretty. Uh, it it it's will be there, but mostly morning raga would be. I like this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about late evening raga? Um, late evening raga, maybe Kalyani, Kalyani. or Darbari Kannada. Whichever you wish. Um, Darbari Kannada. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ah. Even to my untrained ears, mm -hmm. there is a difference. But I guess to a trained ear, it will come across as very distinctive morning or yeah. evening raga. Yeah. Thank you very much. And very philosophical also, this raga. So many bhajans are there in Darbari Kannada. Yeah. And it is also true, is it not, that ragas are also associated with moods. For example, mood of anger or happiness or peace. Yeah, of course. Can you give some example that is great. how you convey that through raga? <laughs> that is great certain ragas, certain melody, express certain moods and emotions. For example, like Navarasas, dancer will act. Mm -hmm. When singer is singing, dancer will act. The fear, anger, love and waiting for someone mm -hmm. and sad, peace, mm -hmm. so many emotions. So please give us a sample of two. I, I wish we had more time for that but uh, I, I guess I want the viewers to see the difference in different emotions. Okay, waiting. Lover is waiting, mm -hmm. but is not coming. Mm -hmm. So she will take um, Ahir Bhairavi, maybe. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
that is ahir bhairavi and peaceful raga even when meditation time because the peaceful raga will make brain waves to come down what so meditation the previous one was for longing for the beloved and this is one for peace peace let's hear it mm mm Food of peace in there. Well, I, I thank you very much. I think uh, it takes a little bit more training to identify these two <laughs> sentiments, but I will have to think about it. But thank you very much. Now, I, I understand. Well, you you did point out the difference between North Indian and Carnatic music. Um, is there some other aspect which is different from that in terms of instruments they use or the way they are played? could you throw some light on it rhythms we carnatic musicians use murudangam ghatam kanjira mm -hmm. rhythm and violin veena nadaswaram these are distinctive south indian instruments south indian instrument and um, north indian sitar tabla mm -hmm. um sarangi harmonium 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 yeah so the musical instruments make a create that different uh, yeah what about the difference between carnatic music and western music uh, uh, what are the essential difference between these two systems? any world music in classical music mm -hmm. western indian north or south seven notes are there so do re me fa sol la te mm -hmm. western they are common sa re ga ma pa da ni indian that is common and uh, the Indian music, uh, the life and soul is melody, mm -hmm. based on melody. We can just hit with melody. Western musicians, their life and soul harmony. That is the. So they can have an orchestra of hundred. Hundred voices and orchestra, what not? But this Indian music, mostly you know, individual. But nowadays, so many fusion are coming, both Eastern and Eastern. they are mixing very well is it good for both the systems of music of course yes. we will know more about that i love music any music is okay for me yeah as a teacher mm -hmm. do you think music has some value as a therapy for a very disturbed mind or disturbed soul yes in what way in banaras olden days ancient time great uh, musicians they used to Uh, heal with music therapy soothing ragas they used to take and they used to play or mm -hmm. sing so many diseases used to because the brain waves again the alpha status brain waves will come down by listening that soothing raga and the famous musicians brought rain when there was no rains by singing raga amruta varshini I know power you, of music greatness you, you, you of music. have probably you help unlock this power through your students you know so yes. they get the full benefit you know anand without music there is no yoga sukshma yoga for me without sukshma yoga there is no music for me i realize that i love music so you integrate both the uh, most system. of the workshops i will give like that um please tell me what will i experience if i come to learn will you accept me if i have no background in music will you accept me as your carnatic music student of course i don't need anything i will see that your voice if at all i can give training i can give with yogic ways and whoever will come to me they have to learn yoga first whatever you have to accomplish we need good healthy body mm -hmm. and relaxed mind so you you are integrating aspects of yoga and meditation and music yes to make a combine so all your classes give all three of them or uh, you have separate classes for yoga Se and meditation separate classes separate. yeah but for music you expect them to have some yeah. some of that yeah and yoga sukshma yoga i have like different wellness programs and uh, music i have teachings even stammering people i i give voice mm -hmm. lessons mm -hmm. 
because the vocal cords will become open up and strengthen the vocal cords. A lot of training needed. Now you have also trained, given voice training to your own daughter and yes. you are a kind of guru for your daughter. Yeah. And your daughter is quite a uh, good singer in yeah. there. Yeah. Now, how did it make a difference for you to teach your own daughter? Did it uh, create some uh, barriers for you or? Uh, no difference no at all. Difference. Yeah. Because they born and brought up with uh, a mother who loves fine arts. And uh, in the cradle also, they used to listen music because before marriage, I used to teach. And while they are growing, they saw that. But I used to think always when my colleagues, they are professors now in India, music professors, I used to think because they were all uh, sons of, uh, daughters of a great musician, I used to feel jealous. <laughs> they are very lucky, they are very, but when I have my children, I realized teacher, teacher, that's it. There is no daughter, no son. When they come to practice, they have to, like well, it is not always the easiest thing for a mother yes, to be is. able to teach and develop I don't, that I don't want. So it That's why now I surrender her to <laughs> great teacher. Now in Vancouver, great teachers are there, music teachers. And it is, it is very uh, nice of you to establish yourself in her life, not only as a mother, but also as a Fine teacher, arts. guru. And now I'd like to take you away from this, uh, come back to some legacies left by uh, Guru Shri Tyagaraj in Karnataka music. I'd like you to elaborate on that, what legacy he left and what has been his impact on Karnataka music as it is today. Thank you very much. I love him. I feel that soul when I sing. I don't know, since childhood. He born and brought up in Thiruvayur mm -hmm. and uh, is a devotion. In Telugu, father used to say, Sadguna Rashi. Sad guna means good qualities. Rasi means treasure. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Yes. How you can translate that? Sad guna Rashi. Can you help me? Um, you you are saying that he has got all these qualities, qualities. combined in one person. Sattvika. Yes, yes. He used to say that uh, one in Kirtan, you know, Ra Bhuvilo Rajasa Tamasa. Bhuvilo Rajasa Tamasa. That means, O oh Manasa. Oh my dear mind, or Manasa, where mm -hmm. Sukshma, Sukshma Manasa, I am mixing, I, I am moving with all hyper and lethargy people, but I want to be sattvic. How? Can you help me? Did you see that? Manasa etu lortune. That means, oh dear mind, how can I tolerate? This is coming from Guru Tyagraj. Guru Tyagraj, 24,000 songs he has written. And of course, we are maybe we are we are we got now one thousand maybe. So he has left very enduring legacy on Karnataka music as. Eighteenth century, 90, maybe eighteen forty seven. He he went to Samadhi. Nineteen twenty five, a rich lady from Bangalore, Nagaratnama. She thought I have to do something because she is very rich, and uh, she went to Samadhi, the Tiruvayur, and she constructed the temple every year. We all musicians will go there or wherever we are. We are celebrating in Vancouver. We have beautiful uh, association, Sapasa, and they are doing great things. Maybe we will uh, explore the contribution of Guru Tyagaraj on Carnatic music in detail some other time. Amazing. But I right love now, that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I thank you very much for taking time. It has been very nice talking to you about Carnatic music. Thank you very much for this. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.